in the ultimate analysis would be the final measure of success of any CSR program, at least at the foundation level, that it is turned over to its natural owners after we have piloted it and have shown proof of concept. In conclusion, we take pride in our efforts at measuring and benchmarking our CSR against global performance indicators. But of course, we are painfully aware that there is so much more that we can and should do to ensure that this culture of sustainable development is deeply embedded in our corporate DNA. We will continue to explore all the ways by which we can truly say that we, as a group of companies, have transformed our companies into business models that achieve the triple bottom line and remain relevant to the upliftment of the many communities that we interact with. In the end, we must all be part of institutions that add value to society beyond their traditional financial bottom line and be catalysts in enabling a progressive and inclusive environment in the social and economic fabric of our countries. Thank you for this opportunity. We have some time for a few questions, if there are any, or comments. Please identify yourself and your organization before asking the, the question or, or making the comment. One. I'll, I'll, I'll ask a question. Has there been a, a resistance to measuring this, uh, putting in the measures that you talked about, you know? Um, I think resistance perhaps, Phil, is too strong a word. Um, obviously, we live in a life, all of us, uh, particularly in the corporate sector, but I'm sure in the foundations it's the same, um, where uh, measurements are getting stricter and stricter. We all have reporting requirements of one kind or another. So to add a new layer of requirements, I think, is uh, obviously something that organizations have to adjust to. You have to build uh, the key people around it. You have to get organizations uh, involved in the topic. And, and obviously, it involves manpower and commitment and time. And that's always something that is obviously challenging for corporations that, that find themselves in an increasingly competitive environment. However, um, once you accept the premise <clears throat> that it is something important to the way you see yourself as an institution, then it becomes more and more a part of the fabric about the way you do things. And I think the key element there, uh, Phil, is to uh, first self-reflect as an institution, you know, what your reason for being is, what is important to you. And in our case, in the Ayala Group, we wanted to basically find ways of uh, quantifying you know, how we as an institution involved in our society are more than just an institution that provides products and services and, 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 has, a, and, and has a focus on, on building up a return on the risk capital that it puts to play. We saw our responsibility as broader and for a long time we've been looking for a way of finding a way to define that broader engagement in society. And so when we ran into the GRI uh, measurement system, which then became I guess a UN-led initiative, uh, that was globally accepted, we embraced it and we said here is a, a, a globally accepted practice that begins to illustrate the value of an institution in a broader footprint than the one that traditionally we have been measured on. And that was of great interest to me in particular because um, uh, I'm a massive believer in the capitalist system but I also believe that institutions have a, a bigger role and a more productive role in society than we've traditionally been given uh, credit for. And the sustainability reports really point to kind of a richer framework with which to see how, uh, uh, I guess, a corporation interacts with, uh, with a country and with the communities it interacts with. And so, in the end, once you accept that this is a rich document and a rich set of information uh, that brings to light in a more transparent way what an institution is all about, then you begin to embrace uh, some of the work that's involved in collating that information. Thank you. Volker, yeah. <clears throat> 